all of you welcome back once again i know it has been quite long we have taken a session just like this where i can able to take all the questions which you guys have and i can able to answer all of that when i go through all the emails which you guys have sent me some of you guys have asked me technical question some of you guys have some personal question whether you have to learn blockchain development or smart contract or a web 3 developer or a web 2 developer back end front end so i got a lot of emails i'll try to make a video on each one of the question which you guys have asked me so just give me some time and i believe that you guys have got the responses of all the technical little bit error which you guys are facing in the in the project so i hope my team help you and they give you the solution that how you can able to fix those error so they are working on it and as for the question which you guys have definitely i'm going to take a session for one question at a time because this is very important if you really want to become a blockchain developer and if you want to take a focus in a particular segment in the field of development you have to clear your mindset you have to clear the, about the technology that what you have to learn and on top of that the most important thing is to understand that what is the demand of the market you can learn whatever you want but you have to learn the relevant thing which is getting utilized in the industry so that's the most important thing uh, soon a detailed video will come that what is going on at this moment what are the segment you have to focus because the dynamics are getting change the dynamics are changing in terms of technology in terms of innovative things which you can include in the web3 ecosystem so those are the things we're going to talk about it for the last two months i was involved in my agency project so we have to deliver those project and i i was trying to expand my team so i can get more project and get the thing done quickly so i was involved in the hiring process taking the interview technical round so there was a lot of things were going on in the last two months and we are also working on a crypto payment infrastructure for one of the startups so where we going to simply allow the users to simply come and buy the fiat coins and they can simply do the transaction and it will going to be very easy one where the user can simply take the payment in crypto in their e-commerce in their any other application which they want to integrate so we are trying to build the infrastructure so it's going to be a little complicated i will try to make a detailed video on that like the way we do the financial transaction in the web pre ecosystem it's going to be exactly the same but we're going to focus on the decentralized ecosystem where we have to deal with the smart contract protocol fetching the prizes so there's a tons of thing i'll try to make a video on that so that project is quite huge that we have to deal with the entire financial system that's what we are involved in currently right now it is one of the biggest project we have got so we are currently working on it so that was the reason i was not able to make a video just like this uh and definitely a video will come you, i hope you guys are enjoying the project which we are coming regularly on our channel so we have completed the we have completed the nft marketplace we have completed the ico dab we have completed the ai project we have completed the other project we have on the channel so we have so that's how everything is going on definitely i will try to take all the question which you guys have asked me in terms of project in terms of the roadmap which you can follow for learning the blockchain technology and where you have the most scope because right now we have this two segment core blockchain development and the blockchain developer so which one you have to focus on whether you have to go in the auditing field whether you have to go in the core blockchain development whether you have to build a become a blockchain dapp developer so which one has the more scope which one has the highest pay because all of these technologies are really very good it's depend that which one you are getting involved in you have to understand every single thing all the segment you have to pick and gather it together then you have to finalize that what you going to learn it so before you finalize all of these things you have to have the basic understanding and for that you have to learn the technology you have to build the project many of you guys have asked me that what project should i build i'm a complete beginner what i have to learn i'm really interested in the blockchain development so i would so i would highly encourage you that you have to start with three project if you build this three project you will have the complete understanding about the decentralized dapp that how you can build one so the first one is going to be the nft after that you have to build a unis of clone so we have both those project and then you have to build a some sort of chat application or decentralized ecosystem so this three project will help you to give you a broader understanding about the smart contract and how you can execute the program and build different logic within the contract and all of these projects are industry relevant you will find that somehow or the other we are utilizing these models in some sort of application so you have to understand this project is absolutely must nft marketplace then you have to build uniswap then you have to build the decentralized chat application or you can go with the voting dapp these are the project which you have to include in your portfolio the more project you will build the more project you will add in your portfolio it's going to help you to understand the technology understand the entire ecosystem that how it's work exactly then you, it will automatically give you the broader sense when you're going to analyze that what exactly happening then you're going to simply relate with the companies we have in the industry right at the moment so we have defi protocols what are you going to do it 
if you build Uniswap project, you're going to understand that how DeFi protocol works, how you're going to fetch the token and allow the swap fetching, getting details about the coins. So all of these things are very important. You will interact with different Web3 providers. So I don't want to confuse you at the moment. Take your time. It will take time, but eventually, if you have the right mode map, if you build the project, if you try to understand that what you are building, it's going to help you in the long run. Some of you say that this project is not relevant, that project is not relevant. It's nothing like that. Ultimately, you have to learn the technology. Once you learn the technology, that's what you're going to utilize in the real world. Like all the projects we have built on our channel, all one of those projects is an industry ready project. So how I get the idea of this project? A client's come up to me and he tells me his requirement that what he exactly want. So when I complete that project and deliver to him, I'm going to build a subset of that project so I can deliver on the YouTube so you guys can follow that. So all of this project which you see, I have already delivered this project to my clients. That's why I'm publishing it. So I never build any project just like that. I can see my client requirement and I try to replicate it and then I try to build it on top of that. So I hope this helps you a lot. Soon, we're going to have this kind of session very quickly. I'll try to conduct a live webinar where we're going to have and I'm going to bring all those developers who work in the industry, my colleagues, my team, and we will talk about it. So if you will have a broader perspective that how exactly things are happening, but it will take time. I have to consult with them and I'll try to arrange it because right now we are actually in, involved and middle of in something and we have a deadline in the next five months we have to do and complete a couple of things. So. We, are, we have done in the development, so we are almost done with the like 80% of the development. Now we have to focus on the infrastructure and the testing process is very important. So that's the only thing from my end. If you guys really have any question, any doubt, and if you guys are following the project, make sure to give your time. Don't try to rush. Your goal is to focus on learning. Whatever program we are writing, whatever logic we are building, spend some time. Spend some time, try to understand this particular function and try to replicate it. Try to interact with a different way. Like one function can be written in thousand ways. So we have to find the ultimate way in which you can use it. So build a project. After that, you can do the modification, do the experiment, change the data type, change the architecture. That will help you. That will give you the real learning. So I hope it's helped you. And if you guys have any questions, you can definitely let me know in the comment section or you can simply shoot me an email. I'll try to respond. I will take that in my consideration and I will add in my future scheduled video so I can cover that topic as well. So that's the only thing for my end. If you have any question, any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to help you in that. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.